Hello again. So today I decided to do a little video and I'm going to do it old school. So this is the way I used to do videos where I basically just point at the camera and I would talk and hopefully uh, get it all sorted out in the edit. So I've got this uh, homemade gramophone here which I showed in a short um, I think yesterday actually and I've got it on the bench and uh, well it's not really a bench it's actually it's a gramophone in its own right. Uh, you might just be able to see the winding handle down there. Um, you can see the uh, the knobs on the doors down there for the record storage. And um, even this thing over here, which uh, I've never actually talked about in a video. If you look, there's a the winding handle poking up there. And oh, does that look like a horn there? So um, I'm completely surrounded by gramophone type stuff. But... Um, Today I was just going to talk about this little machine here and this is really just, it's just an old ion um, turntable so this is a fairly cheap uh, turntable designed to digitise records it does have USB out on it, I think so um, but uh, I'm just using it as a three speed turntable and I've just got uh, an old record on there and you can see it's got a big chunk out of it there that's a broken record so I'm not too worried about uh, damaging this record and um, I've got a well let's start over here I've got a lump of wood I've got a machine vise a bit of wood there and um, mounted on there is actually a hinge and I'm using it as a pivot for the tone arm so it can go up and down on the screw and uh, left and right on the uh, on the uh, hinge and I like to set things up like this because it then means that um, I can set the tracking fairly well so I mean that's not it's not brilliant um, it's probably because I've actually had the sound box off um, since setting it up but uh, you can see that uh, it's possible to adjust the position you don't want to lock uh, these things down too tightly when building this sort of device it's good to have some experimentation room otherwise there's a bit of plastic piping I'll get to the sound box actually in a minute um, but a bit of plastic piping this comes from my local hardware store and there's some tape just to sort of cover up the holes a bit there's a bit of garden hose there's a there's a hose clip um, don't often use a hose clip on a piece of hose and then there's this funny brass horn, which um, I will talk about a bit in a minute. Um, but there we are, that's, that's the basic gramophone. I'll just stand back a bit so you can see it if you've not seen it in the short. And it works okay, it's not brilliant, but it does work okay. So what I'm going to do now is move over to the other workbench and talk through some of the components a little bit more. So I'm over on the workbench now and uh, if you're hearing any clicking, probably my uh, heater down here and uh, well I often turn it off but then I forget to turn it back on again which means that I get quite cold in here and so does everything else. So anyway, I'm going to go through this. Uh, it's probably going to be easier if I put the camera on a mount so I'll just do that now. Okay, so what have we got here? Well. A few bits and pieces uh, similar to the ones I've used in building this machine and I've got the sound boxes over here too. Now there were some comments, there were some nice comments and some questions on the short and uh, I meant to read them off my phone but uh, I'm actually using my phone to record from a lavalier mic at the minute which isn't normally what I do but um, I'm a bit disorganised in the workshop at the minute and my normal uh, mic arrangement's not uh, all set up. Anyway let's start by talking about horn now this is a, a virtually identical horn to the one that's on that machine it's just uh, a bit uh, less polished um, there was a, a question about whether this was a, a french horn i mean it's i suppose quite french horn in shape i'm certainly no expert on uh, brass instruments but i i certainly understand where the uh, the person was coming from um is it old well I got this one and the one on the machine and I think this one here 
all at the same time. This one's still in its plastic. I suspect they're not old at all. I suspect they're, they're modern. And uh, in terms of what they're supposed to be, um, this here is actually, I believe, a vintage car horn. And in fact, somebody else did mention that uh, a vintage car horn would be a, a good thing to use. Um, I think it's actually got some sort of reed or some, oh, you probably can't see, but there's something inside there. Um, possibly something that makes a note or something. Um, so I'm not sure that this is, really is a good thing to use, this particular one. Uh, but the other ones, I'm pretty sure, um, are just... Yeah, it's just a plain ball. Again, you won't be able to see, but uh, there doesn't look like there's anything down there. Um, so what these were for, I don't know, but they may just be mock uh, vintage car horns. Um, somebody else, or I think, or I think the person who mentioned about the car horn, um, suggested um, the uh, air horn type things. I think probably they were talking about this sort of thing, although maybe uh, nice metal ones rather than rather than these cheap plastic ones. Uh, and again, I think this bit on the end here makes some sort of note. Um, but you can take that off and you can just have a horn like that. I've successfully used a little horn like this on a gramophone before. Uh, it works just fine. I mean, it's obviously not going to give you very much in the way of amplification, but uh, um, they, it does work. Um, the advantage of a horn like this, uh, let's put that down for a second, is that it's sort of folded in on itself so uh, um, you get more length for a rather more compact size now connecting the horn um, up to the rest of the machine i've used a piece of uh, a garden hose i bought a chunk of this uh, at a car boot sale some years ago thinking it might be useful for gramophones and uh, yeah it occasionally is um, i don't know if this has ever been used for water but uh, it's certainly dry now Cuts, uh, cuts pretty well with a, a decent pair of uh, um, tin snips, actually, is what I tend to use. And I've got that connected up to a framework or a, a pipe system made out of this plastic piping. And this is, uh, I think this is 22 and a half millimeter plastic piping. So um, that's a, a little bit more than three quarters of an inch, uh, a little bit less than an inch. Uh, but it happens to be standard for one of the plumbing applications uh, where I live, which is in the UK. And you can get nice angle joints or 90 degree angle joints as well. So I find it very useful uh, for building this sort of equipment. And uh, this piping will go in there and you can sort of make a join. Um, so yeah, that, that, uh, that can certainly be made to work. Now, the sound boxes, um, the one I demonstrated in the last short was actually this one. Um, this is just a bottle lid here, a uh, piece of plastic um, from, um, I think, uh, uh, well, it's food packaging. I think it's a margarine tub. Uh, I've got one somewhere. Let me have a look. Not actually this one, but something very similar to this. So reasonably rigid. Um, and to be honest, you want as rigid as you can and uh, cut a circle of that out and uh, that forms the diaphragm too rigid like a, a cd case um, it's just really difficult to cut whereas something like this is easy to cut and it's rigid enough to actually work the the back of it is actually just a great big washer I've used, um, I think on that one, I've used an O-ring, bigger O-ring than that. Um, but there's also this, uh, I think it's three millimeter neoprene um, cord. It's actually described as, and that can be, that can certainly be used. And the rest of it is, uh, well, what I would call lolly stick, um, I think, uh, in other countries, it might be called popsicle stick. 
uh, just cut and glued. There's a nail through for the, the pivot. Um, somebody mentioned that, uh, they, they mentioned nail. I think they were probably referring to this, uh, what is actually a pin um, that's been glued onto this piece of wood here. Uh, it's not a nail. Um, it's got a decent tip. Now, I wouldn't recommend playing records with a nail. Even playing records with a pin is not ideal. Although I think realistically, the uh, the pin is actually quite similar to a real gramophone needle, and it's not impossible to uh, construct something. Um, this takes a real gramophone needle. I mean, this is just a little pulley here from an old tape deck, um, and. Uh, I've just tightened uh, a gramophone needle in it and then just wrapped it onto a, a stick and that certainly would work in place of uh, that one there. And um, here is a design I did a few years ago and again it's not got a needle fitted but uh, I've used a, a bit of electrical contact there, a little electrical contact block there um, to um, make a, a sort of needle chuck and uh, that works just fine too. I've demonstrated that in several videos. I mean, it's not pretty, but it does work. Um, this one here, I also showed in a, in a short, in fact, a couple of shorts. It's very similar. It's got a bit of this plastic piping on the back. Uh, so it will, it will mate uh, like so. And um, it's a... Uh, it's a lid from a, a food container that's uh, had a hole cut in it and the rest of it's popsicle stick and I think this is actually this uh, neoprene cord. It's uh, I think it's too big to be a gasket. In fact, yes, I can see the, the join there. So um, they're the sound boxes. So I think that covers everything actually. Um, is there anything here that you know you want to see me use in a video? Any combination? Any questions about uh, how I put this stuff together? Uh, then please do let me know in the comments. And uh, and also if you've enjoyed this video, then please do give it a like um, so that uh, I know that and uh, YouTube knows too. And uh, I'll link um, on the end screen now uh, another video similar to this or on a similar topic to this that you might also like also. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.